With a new era of Doctor Who, we of course have a new title sequence. But is it a good one? In my humble opinion, it does have some great elements to it, but also some really not good elements too. If I had to sum it up in one word, it would be muddled. The title sequence, like many before it in the modern era, makes its focus the TARDIS shooting along down the time vortex. Or is that a nebula? It's hard to tell in this one. But whatever it is, it's beautiful. Lots of rich, vibrant colours, including lots of oranges, blues and purples. Lots of purples. I love purple. It's my favourite colour. Tick. The smoke effect texture of whatever it is it's travelling through looks good too. Uh, it's a little bit reminiscent of the texture of the vortex in the Matt Smith titles. Now, while I've seen some people take issue with the various cuts to different viewpoints and camera angles of the TARDIS, rather than it being one continuous shot, I actually quite like that. Especially the close-up shot of the base of the TARDIS skimming along the edges of the vortex, or nebula. This, in my opinion, is the best a TARDIS has looked in a title sequence ever. So, so far, so good. And here I need to mention the theme itself, because it's going to play into my next point. When I heard the theme played in the recording of the BBC Doctor Who at 60 concert, I thought it was, well, a little bit of a mess. I liked the idea of incorporating elements from the themes across the history of the program. There was a, a little bit of RTD1 in there, a little bit of Moffat, a little bit of Classic Who as well, all mixed in to the sound of this theme. But it didn't seem to blend that well. However, that was a live orchestra where the balance of instruments can't be fine-tuned. And as I said at the time, I hoped the final studio mixdown of the broadcast theme tune would even out some of the harshness of it. And it does. It's... it's fine. One thing I've seen criticism of is that the theme doesn't match the visuals well enough, and I think I know why people think that. In every iteration of the opening titles in the modern era, the name of the actor playing the Doctor has appeared in time to coincide with that first ooey You know, ooey -oo. So, over the last 18 years, we have become subconsciously trained to expect that. But it doesn't happen here. Both David Tennant's and Catherine Tate's name appear during the initial build-up stage, the dum dee dee dum dum dee dee dum bit. There's just no musical punch to their names appearing. They just sort of do and that feels off. That's not to say the musical hit of the Ooyoos is wasted as that bit of the theme hits the moment we get a shot of the TARDIS bursting out of a nebula-like space cloud. And I think that actually works really well. It punctuates that moment perfectly, it's just a shame that we've lost the punctuation on the appearance of the actors' names. I also don't mind the quick zoom onto the TARDIS from the long shot either. I know some people have had an issue with that, but I kind of feel like it gives the feel of being in that space, like, like you're an observer on another ship and have just asked your view screen guy to zoom in on that weird blue box that just burst out of that nebula. Spaceships have a view screen guy, right? They push the buttons to make the view screen do stuff. That's got to be a thing, right? Anyway, back to the titles, because then we get what I think most people view as the biggest crime these titles make. And I completely agree with them. The way the logo comes in. Or, as I've seen it referenced by many people, the logo PNG comes in. Because it really does look like a flat PNG image file has been keyframed for size, position, and rotation to slightly spin in from the background to the foreground. 
No interesting actual animation on it at all. It leaves with some good animation. No problem with the way it leaves the screen, but the way it enters, I do not like. The thing is, the BBC have released an animated logo appearing in a way that would have looked so good in this title sequence all the way back in 2022 when they revealed this logo for the first time. And Twitter user at MMStudios512 has even edited that version into these titles. And it's so much better. I really hope that it gets a tweak for Shooty series to become more like that. So like I said, it's a bit of a mixed bag. It's a bit muddled. What do you think of the new title sequence? What do you like? What doesn't work for you? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give it a like, share it, subscribe for more like it, and all that jazz. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.